The folks at Opera, who make the Opera browser, and gaming browser, Opera GX, have released a new browser they call Opera Air for Windows and Mac OS. As they say, it's a browser with mindfulness at its core. It's a calming, secure, powerful, and fully functional browser with a minimalistic design to make you feel better while browsing the web. I've been testing it out on another computer for the past month as my default browser. I'll point out some of the cool features and share my thoughts along the way. When installing, before clicking on Accept and Install, go to Options here on the left. Before you know if this is the browser for you, I'd recommend unticking the box next to Make Opera the Default Browser. You can always change this later on in your operating system settings. The choice is yours on the next one. On any browser I'm testing, I don't import bookmarks, and I don't send feature usage information. Crash reports are fine. And I don't run any programs, including browsers, when my computer starts that I don't need at startup. So I'll untick that one. With that out of the way, let's go back and select Accept and Install. You'll now get this data collection message. If you don't mind them collecting your data to supposedly improve your experience, you can click on Accept right now. If you're like me and do mind, go to Configure in Settings. Untick them all. When you're done with that, click on Confirm Choices. Click on Start. You'll get this window that pops up to set up your new browser. Click on Get Started. Here you get to pick your wallpaper. There are several to choose from in two categories, Nature and Air. And these last two will be live wallpapers. I've never liked those. I'll go with this one right here. Click on Next. This is where you can import your data from another browser if you want. For me, I'll click on, I will do it later. They'll have a little survey for you. I'll close those out. And I'll max this out to full screen. When you first launch Air, you'll notice a lot of the clutter has been stripped away from the user interface. Initially, prior to installing it a month ago, I thought it was just a gimmick, but it actually is calming when compared to other browsers. Let's go through the basics first. In the main window is a search bar. Google is the default. This can be changed in settings. There's also a speed dial. Initially, it'll be sites they recommend that they think align to their core principle of mindfulness. There's medium, mindful, headspace, Calm, Behance, and Penzu. You can add other sites by clicking on the plus. At the top is the standard web address and search bar. To the right of that is their snapshot tool. It lets you take a screenshot of what is visible on the page, or you could crop a section of the page. To the right of this is Easy Setup. This opens a sidebar for common settings that you can quickly change. Here you can change the start page wallpaper, settings for AI services, the layout, there's a Lucid mode that, when enabled, will enhance the video quality on all sites. And below that, there's settings for privacy and security. And at the bottom, there's a link to access the full browser settings. Also, in the upper right, you can set up an account to synchronize across devices. And there's a button to add or manage extensions. To find and add extensions, select Get More Extensions in the left pane. This will open the store for Opera add-ons. Let's now go through some of the more unique features. At the top of the left sidebar, you'll find workspaces. Initially, there are two. As an example, this can help to separate personal and work tabs. You can change the names of these by right-clicking on a workspace and selecting Manage Workspaces. Select the three-dot icon to the workspace you want to change, then Edit. If you want, you can select an icon. Below that, you can change the name. I'll call this one Personal. Click on save when you're done. I'll change the other one real quickly. Staying in the left pane, this is where things become quite different when compared to other browsers. As Opera says, boosts help to stimulate different brain waves through binaural beats and sound to boost creativity, relieve stress, stay focused, and more. There are quite a few here. They all have descriptions to help you choose the one that best suits your situation. Let's go back to the top. They can be saved to your favorites by clicking on the heart. Two of my favorites are Energized Focus, which is great for staying attentive while studying and working. The other one, Deep Relaxation, is useful about a half hour before your day ends to completely unwind. 
Next up is Take a Break. Unlike other browsers that want to keep you using their browser, visiting sites, and being advertised to, Opera Air actually wants you to take a time out for relaxation. Breathing is a simple exercise to reduce stress and blood pressure. Neck exercise to relieve tension, reduce pain, and improve flexibility. Meditation to help put you in a relaxed state and improve focus. And full body scan is a good end of the day routine. It tunes you into your body and surroundings. As a quick example, we'll get started with the breathing exercise. There are four exercise types to choose from. Relax 478 is the breathing technique used by US Navy SEALs. Choose your voice guide. Your choices are Emma and Alex. To begin, click start. You can skip the intro here in the lower right. Take a slow, deep breath through your nose. Hold this breath for a few seconds. Exhale slowly through your mouth. Below Take a Break is Opera's AI assistant, cleverly named Aria. Right now it's free to use. Use cases include image generation, image recognition, to analyze the contents of a web page, doing research on a topic, and most anything else you can think of. Type your query here at the bottom. I'll ask, what is the difference between speed and velocity? And the first time you use it, it'll ask you to agree to the following. So click on, I agree. After creating an image, there's an icon up here to download it to your computer. The remainder of the sidebar, by default, has two messengers, Facebook Messenger and WhatsApp. To add or remove anything from the sidebar, click on the three dots to go into the sidebar setup. Here you have other messengers and social sites to choose from, including Telegram, VK, Instagram, TikTok, and X. The other categories here are workspaces, mindfulness features, AI services. In addition to Aria, there's ChatGPT and ChatSonic. Let's go below messengers here. There's special features. Player is a music player in your browser. MyFlow lets you send files, links, and other stuff between your connected phone or computer. There's various opera tools. You can add extensions to the sidebar, and there's a few sidebar settings that you can change. In conclusion, to answer the question, is Opera Air any good? The short answer is yes. I like it so much on my other computer, which is a laptop. I've made it my default browser, and on this computer, I'll leave it as a secondary browser. If you're someone that wants a calmer experience while using your browser, I highly recommend that you try it out. Thanks for watching. If this video was useful for you, give it a thumbs up and share it with others. What are your thoughts regarding Opera Air? And do you plan to use it? Let us know in the comments. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe and click the bell for the latest software reviews and other tech-related stuff here on Brett in Tech.